Yo, yo, Daily Fire. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, <clears throat> Daily Fire episode 302. Uh, we're going to do a little multi-part series here on things I tell myself when I want to cheat or not work out or just outright not follow the rules of success that I've kind of come up with. And we're going to segment it. Just some quick hitters for you guys to stay motivated. Number one, the first thing I think about, right? And this will be episode 302 is when I was, uh, let, let me give you a little context. About 10 years ago, you know, the goat of the industry came to my gym, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He walked in, saw a picture of himself over the dumbbells. I asked him if he recognized that guy. He said to me, kind of give me the head nod, like, yeah, motherfucker, I know who that guy is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Very goatish. And then we did a, a legendary interview um, by my own acclaim. But it had like 10 million views. It crushed it. But one of the things, and there's multiple things, one of the things that he said during that interview, um, he said, Corey, he actually said, Corey, my name, nothing tastes as good as being a champion. Because I asked him about cheating on his diet, how do he stay disciplined? And that's like a very general thing, but I knew a lot of people would want to know it. He said that pie or bread doesn't taste better than winning does. And I got to tell you, multiple times in my career, when I've been really disciplined, like psycho disciplined, and most people might think I'm like that all the time, which <clears throat> I would say I have more balance in my life now than I ever have, whatever that word means. But whenever I would be so dialed for magazine covers or for shows or whatever it was, I used to think about this all the time because I thought when I'm in that moment where I'm on the backdrop for a cover of a magazine that's going to go in all these grocery stores and at every airport, I don't want to be thinking, well, if I wouldn't have cheated two weeks ago, I probably would look better in this moment. Oh, if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have missed that workout or car, like I wanted to be so deep in just like that discipline that I knew I, I, every stone was unturned. All of the bets were on like that. I was all in to be the most prepared for that situation. So if I had a chance to be on that magazine or, or crush that shoot or do that, that show that I had a chance to potentially be great one day. And so I would think about these things whenever I was struggling, when I, I literally talk about like walking in my pantry, looking at the shit I want to eat, walking back out of my pantry and then going, Corey, nothing tastes as good as being a champion. Like I, literally it's self-talk. Like we all need it. We all need it. And Arnold, I think during his time where he was seven time Mr. Olympia, he thought these things to himself often. And I know you're not trying to be Mr. Olympia. I know you're probably not even trying to compete, but you are trying to compete against your old self to be better. You are trying to compete against yourself to be more healthy. You are trying to compete day to day to get better and get your promotion at your job and grow your business and just be, I don't know, a more confident person. So you have to think when I am inside these lines and rules that I'm, you know, requiring of myself so I can get better, whatever diet plan you follow, however you train, whatever you, however you operate, you need to then say, what did Arnold say? If I do this, is that better than feeling the sense of accomplishment? Because that's what that is. If I eat this whole bag of jalapeno potato chips on this Tuesday, is that going to actually taste better than me having a lower body weight this Friday than last Friday? And me putting that shirt on and feeling better and me looking in that mirror and feeling more confident. And then because I look in that mirror and I feel, feel more confident when I walk in my business meeting, I'm going to fucking blaze that motherfucker. Like you have to think about those things. Don't just cave in that one moment. Like think about those things. And that's just one of the things I want to talk about in this little series of things. I tell myself when I want to cheat or I don't want to do what I'm supposed to do. Uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger quote of Corey, nothing tastes as good as being a champion comes to mind. Episode 302, we out.